Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for this intermediate workout number two. Just as a reminder, if you haven't gone through the fundamental series, I highly recommend so that you can catch up, work on mastering those movements to meet us here for this workout today. And if you haven't done intermediate workout number one, make sure you go back and do that one as well. And then we'll get this second workout going. Make sure you get your workout started on your fitness tracker and let's begin. First exercise, we're gonna take it down to your high plank push-up position. And in your high plank push-up position, remember we wanna keep the hips really, really steady here, making sure we're tucking the hips, holding the glutes nice and tight. We're gonna go for 60 seconds alternating single arm circles. So we're gonna do one arm and then the other arm. Get yourself ready in three, two, one, and begin. So hips are gonna be locked in place here. And then we're gonna go two circles with one arm, plant that hand down, two circles with the other arm, plant that hand down. Very challenging to not allow the hips to shift as you do this. That's where the core is gonna come in. So I shouldn't be shifting my hips to do this. We wanna keep the hips locked in place. The wider you keep your feet, the easier it will be to stabilize versus walking the feet in a little closer is gonna be much harder. It's gonna be much more tempting to shift side to side. And of course, you can always modify from bent knees here if we need to, that's absolutely fine. Just working a little range of motion in the shoulders here. Coming up on the last 10 seconds, doing good. Remember to breathe. And however many circles you wanna do, you can do one circle, you can go two circles. Let's finish up here and Done, all right. Shake your arms out, shake your wrists out. Go ahead and grab a dumbbell for some core rotations. Either a lighter dumbbell or a heavier dumbbell, depending on how you feel today. We're gonna take it to that split stance. So again, split stance, hit a uh, feet are set up shoulder width apart. So you don't wanna be standing on a balance beam feeling like you're not steady. Hips are gonna be tucked, glued tight on that back leg. Heel lifted on the back leg as well. In the fundamental series, we did some core rotations going to the back hip and up over the opposite shoulder. And today, we're gonna start going back over the front hip and up and over to the opposite shoulder. So much more tricky to rotate in to the inside leg here. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do 15 on one side, 15 on the other side. Here we go. So turning to rotate chest and shoulders, and then coming up over the shoulder on the opposite side. Inhale as we come down, exhale up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good as much rotation as we can get through that core here. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent, go ahead and switch that front leg from the hip on the front side leg across to the opposite shoulder. Inhale back, exhale over. Four, five, six. The more of a swing you get, the more intense this exercise is gonna be. You can also slow it down if you need to. Really focus on stabilizing. Last five. Whoop. Just like that. Four. Three, here we go. Two, last one. <sighs> nice job. Okay, go ahead and grab some weights for a lateral shoulder raise. We're gonna make it a little more interesting this time. So in the fundamental series, we just worked on doing the straight lateral shoulder raise. 
and today we're gonna add a lunge to it. So we're gonna stick to one side at a time. As you step back into the lunge, arms are gonna come up with a shoulder raise, 10 on one side, and here we go. So a little inhale as I come down, arms are coming up, and then exhale up to the top. Inhale down. Four. Five. Good, keeping that posture nice and tall. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, good job, good job. Last one. 10, awesome. I'm gonna turn, give you a side angle here for the other side. Here we go, 10. Knee is right on top of the ankle on that front leg. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Shoulders stay down away from your ears. Nine. Last one. 10. Nice job. Okay, shake those arms out a little bit. The next one, you can go a little lighter. I have five pound weights. Five pounds is challenging for me on this one. So you could go threes, fives, or even body weight if you want to. So we're gonna stick to our split stance position here. Front for, uh, one foot forward, one foot back, and arms are gonna come, I'll turn sideways so you see better. Arms are gonna come straight up to the top almost like you're creating like the letter I with your arms, just straight up to the top. I'm gonna hinge my upper body forward just a little bit, so there should be a nice straight line down my body from my wrist at the top down to the back ankle. We're gonna go 10 on one leg, 10 on the other leg, and here we go. Exhale as those arms come up. Four, keeping the arms as straight as possible. Five, this front leg is also loaded. Six, so that leg is getting work. Seven, eight, back of the shoulders getting work. Nine, one more. Ten, nice job. Go ahead and switch that leg, heavy into the front leg, basing off that left, uh, that back leg. Here we go. One. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, one more, ten. Whew. All right, feeling those shoulders. Nice work. Cardio piece. In intermediate number one, we did some drop squats. We're gonna add jumping jack arms to it. So as you jump back up to the center, arms are coming up to the top like a jumping jack. We're going for 25, ready? Here we go. Breathe with it. 10 more, here we go. 16, 17, 18, chest up nice and tall. Back straight, five more. Three, two, and one. Whew. Nice work, nice work. Check your heart rate, it's pretty high. All right, <laughs> we're going single leg balance next. So this is your opportunity to slow that heart rate down a little bit more. We're working the legs. We're gonna combine two of the moves that we did in the fundamental series. So we're gonna go for that heel touch to the front and the posterior touch to the back. On one leg, forward and back is two. We're gonna go to 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. 
So we're starting in our single leg balance. Chest is up nice and tall, pushing the hips back like you're sitting back into a chair. Heel touch to the front, all the way up to the top, and then heel touch to the back, all the way up to the top. That's two. There's three. Four. Soft bend in the knee as you get to the top, not locking out. Six. Slow and steady, holding on to that posture. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Nice job, shake that leg out. Another reminder just about the posture because you don't already have a million things to think about while you're doing these exercises. Imagine like you're balancing a book on top of your head. So as I'm coming forward, I don't wanna drop my chest. I don't wanna drop my chest here. Balance that book on top of your head. Hips push back. Nice posture, little heel touch. And then touching to the back. Three. Four. The more you bend into that knee, the more intense that balance gets. Last two, nine, and 10. Excellent work. Okay, shake those legs out. Let's go ahead and take it down to the mat. We're gonna take it to kind of a modified V-up crunch. So I'm gonna have you keep your hands on the floor. If you wanna go fingers pointed forward out to the side, whatever makes the most amount of sense to you. Legs are gonna go straight out in front, upper body kind of reclines back a little bit, and then we're gonna pull both the upper body and the lower body up together. If you wanna modify, we can go one leg at a time. We're gonna go for 20 of these, ready? Here we go, a little inhale as you sit back, and then exhale, coming up. Two, three, you can rest your feet at the bottom or let them float, a little harder version. Six, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen. 17, good, 18, last two, 19, and 20. Whew. Awesome, awesome. All right, here we go. Let's take it onto your back, and I'm gonna flip this way. We're gonna go into a single leg bridge march. So in the fundamental series, we did kind of an isometric bridge march, keeping your hips up at the top. This time we're gonna start with the hips at the bottom. As you lift up with that bridge, remember we're closing that space down first. As the hips start to lift up off the floor, I'm also gonna pick one leg up off the floor, hit that bridge at the top, and then inhale, come right, right back down. So let's go for 20 of these, alternating the leg that comes up. Here we go, close the space down, coming up. One. Two. Three. Building up that strength for the single leg. Coordinating the breathing. Eight. Nine. If you want an even more challenging option, take your arms off the floor. So you can't use the arms to stabilize. Or you can keep the arms down. 16. 
17. Or you can mix it up. 18, last two. 19, one more. 20, all right. Nice work. Let's go hands soft on the back of your head. We're gonna go bicycle crunches for 60 seconds. The further you extend the legs out, the more intense those bicycle crunches are gonna be, or you can also modify and keep the toes in a little bit closer. We're going 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Elbow comes across to meet the opposite knee. Keeping the elbows out nice and wide. So I don't wanna be elbows in here, super tight, small range of motion. Let's see if we can open it up, make it a little bigger. If you need to modify the lower body, you can touch a little bit closer, either with the toes or with the heels. A little harder, extend those legs out. Full pedal on that bicycle. Good, and if you're feeling good, we can always pick up the pace a little more here. Good, coming up on the end, keeping your chin away from your chest. Keep that airway open. 10 seconds, here we go. Last five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Feel those abs, all right. Let's bring it up and we're gonna finish it on your stomach, down on the mat, going for some cobra raises. So we're gonna be prone position here, stomach down on the mat, forehead rested or just little lift, whatever feels more comfortable to you. Hands are gonna be palms facing up, right by your side. We're gonna connect two feet together. And then as you lift, we're gonna lift the legs together. We're gonna lift the arms and turn the thumbs up towards the ceiling. So I'm externally rotating and opening up my shoulders here. Drawing the shoulders down and back away from my ears. Let's go for 15 of these. Here we go. Little exhale coming up. And again, we're not coming up as high as you possibly can where you're hyperextending your lower back. Just enough to get that squeeze, to feel that lift. Nice job. Here's eight, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the legs together. Nine. Ten. Five more. Last two. One more here. Excellent, come down, relax. Very, very nice. Awesome job. If you have time and energy, run through this a second time. You really start to get into a flow. You can really work through those repetitions, through those minutes. Remember to have fun, slow things down, master the movements, and I will see you in the next workout.